and welcome back to Granted Gardens. Today is planting day. A common question that I think everyone has around planting season, because one of the things that people plant the most is tomatoes. Um, so I did a tomato video, a potting tomato video with my Lowe's um, to go garden to go kit. Um, and I got a lot of questions on that. So I figured I would share with you guys how I'm planting my tomatoes here in my raised garden beds. So I get my technique from friends um, and from uh, Roots and Refuge Farm. So one of the things that Jess did on Roots and Refuge that I thought was really interesting um, is she cracks eggs when she plants her tomatoes. Up until this point, we this is our first summer of having chickens. So this is the first time that we actually have like an abundance of eggs and something that I'm like willing to use the eggs for. So I'm gonna try that this year. Um, some other things that I use, um, this is actually Tyler's idea. He started this last year, it worked out really well, is we use these little post things here. I'll give you a better picture um, to kind of hold up the tomatoes because they get so big and so tall. Um, and so Tyler kind of came up with this idea to help kind of to keep them all upright. And um, when they start getting top heavy, it keeps them from breaking off. So here are my steaks. Um, I'm going to use one steak per tomato plant. Um, in this bed, I usually get nine tomato plants here. Um, so I'm starting to lay them out and I'll show you how I plant them. All right, so I've got my stakes in here. Like I said, I've got nine stakes. Um, they're roughly about a foot apart um, in this direction, maybe about a foot apart in this way as well. So now I'm just gonna dig the holes and then start planting. So my first tomato here, this is a Paul Robeson tomato. It's my first year growing this. Um, so basically what we wanna take into consideration here is that we wanna plant the, the tomato plants as deep as possible. Um, any of this exposed base down here with these little hairs on the side, um, those little hairs will grow into roots. So essentially the deeper that you plant your tomato, um, the more the stronger that your tomato base and root system will be. So these little um, things here, the little shoots that are coming off, these little branches, I'm just going to pick those off. I'm gonna take this one off as well. And then I'm going to bury right up to the top here. So we want to make sure that we're digging a fairly deep hole because we want to be able to bury all of this. Now this particular bed that we're in right now um, is probably about a foot deep. Um, this bed was made out of repurposed wood from my childhood swing set. Um, and over the years, we, we initially filled it with um, like half topsoil and half manure um, the first year. And then every single year, we've been kind of um, men amending the soil by adding more manure. Uh, over the winter, the last couple of years, I've started covering uh, this bed, my raised beds, with um, like a hay, like a straw. And it's actually been really beneficial because the second that I start digging in here, you can see that there's all kinds of critters and bugs. Um, it's very healthy, healthy soil. So I, I really like the fact that we started covering them because I think we've gotten a lot more worms and action going on in these beds since we started doing that. So I highly recommend it. Um, the first year I ended up just using a hay bale or a straw bale that I had uh, out, setting out in the front yard as a Halloween decoration. And then after Halloween was over, I just came back and covered up the beds. Um, and you get that really rich um, soil once you pull back that straw or that hay. Um, in the springtime, it's just full of life and it's really dark and moist and healthy. So I recommend doing that. Here comes the fun experimental part. I'm gonna take an egg, crack it, toss it in. Nothing too crazy there. Then I'm gonna take my Paul Robinson tomato, and get it out of the pot, kind of open up the roots a little bit here at the bottom and then plop it in. And again, we wanna make sure that we're burying up to the very top of this tomato plant. And 
there you have it. Happy tomato in its permanent home. So why are we cracking an egg and putting it in the hole with the tomato? Well, the concept behind it is that as the egg breaks down, it'll provide nutrients to the growing tomato plant. So this will be an experiment, never done this before. Our tomatoes did pretty well last year without it, but we'll see if there's any kind of a difference now. And there we have it. There's the tomato bed. So Paul Robeson on this side, these are old German tomatoes, and then these are Italian paste. And then I threw in some purple basil and some Italian basil there in the center. Um, so today we've started planting and uh, today we're actually going to start planting stuff in the in-ground beds in the woods. So a little backstory if you're not familiar with it, uh, this area was cleared out years ago by the power company and we've like wanted to do something with this area for a really long time. Last year Tyler had set up had fenced off these areas back here um, and we were gonna start planting last year but but then I ended up hurting my foot so we didn't we didn't get back here much uh, so this year will be our first time ever planting in the space uh, in the woods so I'll give you a quick look around uh, there's a lot of trees so we're not entirely sure how this is gonna pan out we're not sure exactly how much sunlight it's gonna get but we're gonna try okay so here is the first garden bed this is going to be predominantly sunflowers and then here is the second one much larger and the game plan is for this to be pumpkins so just to get an idea of what we're working with here um there's literally a gap here for the power lines and there's trees everywhere else so up there is the backyard um over that way is the garden so it's kind of back here in its own little space but we're gonna try our best to use what we got so I had weeded this a few weeks back and then Tyler came in and put down this weed barrier uh, he used the little like what do they call them staples garden staples, garden staples to hold it down um, it's very unlevel and there's like some parts where we've got stones and stuff so you have to be careful walking uh, but we're planning on planting pumpkins All right, so here is the final product. We've got about six different varieties of pumpkins in here, I believe. Decent amount of space. Any idea how many plants that was? 28 plants. Yay! And then over here, sunflowers. I think it's Russian mammoth. And now it's time to water. <laughs> well, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we look forward to sharing more with you soon.